only takes one when they're that intense hey look i put on 20 pounds since this workout started let that be a note to you guys who think you're getting smaller because you missed a workout or because you got sick for a couple days it's just water and glycogen give your body a reason to have some and it'll fill right back out what's up heavy duty crew we are back at it it is friday september the 5th and i'm here to trade arms and back so yeah same old stuff same old place sort of we're here at the uh, p5 today just again convenience had some other stuff to do. Had to get a fresh fade today. And now it's time to train. Been one of them weeks, man. Life. We're gonna flip the switch and grab another gear today. Gonna start off with a low angle rope. Set up on the cables. I don't like any of his back machines here. Tried to get in with it. it didn't feel so hot. So I find this is gonna be hitting more on my lats. It's not set up like our hammer strength that we have at the muscle. So I'll do uh, something else for the upper back in this workout. But it's gonna go ahead, show you what I do here again. The bench behind me is purely for stability purposes. I'm gonna tuck my knee up in that seat, let the rest of my body rest against it, be stable, pull heavy. Get your alignment right here. Let's see if I can run the camera, but so I like a straight line from the pulley going alongside the bench to where my foot is on the ground. It just provides a much better path of motion through the lat and I really feel it good. Again, this is this low angle row is totally different than our hammer strength row. One hits the upper back, one's gonna be hitting the lats. It's just the way it is. So one's a shrugging motion, one's a row. This is the row. Honestly, it could have went heavier last set, but it's only in retrospect. I haven't been progressively overloading this, but we just gonna stick with the same weight and just give all the effort we can. Yep, grip's gonna be an issue, I'm right, so. Only takes one when they're that intense. Hey, look, I put on 20 pounds since this workout started. Let that be a note to you guys who think you're getting smaller because you missed a workout or because you got sick for a couple days. It's just water and glycogen. Give your body a reason to have some and it'll fill right back out. Take two. I don't have a seated incline. Well, I do have a seated incline machine over there, but I already warmed up here and I turned the camera on. I got the mic on, but that seated machine isn't near as good as the one we have at the muscle. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. This preacher curl, isolateral, train the biceps. Simple as that. And it's going to be scary heavy and it's going to hurt.
everything I could give, uh, 50 pounds on the ice ladder plus whatever the machine weight counts as. I dug a little bit in further in the range of motion, but uh, it was heavy, it was intense, so that's a win. We'll move on to the next one. All right, so I was having a bit of a conundrum here. Kept looking at different pieces of equipment, trying to find what I wanted. I was gonna do the uh, Weiger pipe hole on that Smith machine, but nah, just too much. Too much fatigue for the, the load I'd have to put on it. And I don't wanna be swinging shit around. I really didn't get the upper back like I wanted, so I settled on this. This is a row platform with a variable handle. I set it up in a way that I'm slightly out of shoulder width and uh, I'm gonna be at about three quarters of a row position and retracting, retracting and expanding my scapula. So it's gonna be that working in that scapular plane, an upright row, but then I feel in a much more fixed, more comfortable position and with more direct tension into what I'm trying to do. Just trying to make an, adapt, an adaptation with uh, what I have available because nothing's really clicking. Nothing caught my eye, so. Tried this a few times and it uh, seems like it's gonna work. Now, for somebody who's a six, a six plate per side puller, I, uh, I was really trying to get out of that hole, use the momentum and just cranking it, really focused on that, that scapular retraction, you know, working in that scapular plane. And my upper back and traps are fucking tired now, buddy. That was uh, right what we were looking for. And I could have turned it into a full body movement. You know, I could have got lower lats in there, lower back, tiring out my glutes, doing all that shit if I just wanted to row it. But again, I'm not training for a movement, I'm training for a particular stimulus. <sighs> I want to thank uh, my boy Jake Ducote, NPC Jake, for that. He was telling me about a row variation he tried on one of these uh, RDL stations. And that's kind of where the idea to jump on this came from, so I liked it. All right, approaching the end of the workout here. Just going to go into triceps. Going to do this push down and then probably the dip variation. And that'll be it. Had two good back movements, good bicep movement. I don't really have much to say. Let's just do this triceps, these triceps. Just delete all this audio. Yeah, so 15 seconds of rest and I could only do one more proper rep. That's true failure. That's what stimulates growth. That's maximum motor unit recruitment. There's no more effort I could have possibly recruited. Therefore, there's no more muscle that got activated. Who gives a fuck about all these degrees when none of the shit they say makes sense? Mine's proven by science, in a lab, in practice. It's logic, it's something everybody can do. You don't need credentials to figure this shit out. It's logical. So yeah, we're at the end of the workout. I'm gonna wander around, look for something else to do. One more set of one more set of triceps, probably do that seated dip variation. And uh, I think that'll be it. I don't like any of the back equipment here, so I'm not gonna come up with another reason to use something. Set some more triceps and be done. So I like these dip variations. I really feel in the long head of my tricep. A lot of guys like overhead work. I do overhead work, I prescribe it as well. It's just something about this press. When you can get the press locked in without really uh, incorporating the chest and shoulders, it's all the underneath of that arm. It's all the long head of that tricep. It's uh, absolutely incredible. So this machine is really cool. I think it's leaning forward, like it's less than a 45. It's a little more than a 90 degree angle. Oh man, fucking brain dead right now. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> it's a little more than a 45. <laughs> It's between 45 and 90 degrees. And if you actually put your, uh, your ass in your lower 
back into the pad at the bottom. Let your torso ride up. It's a, it's a really good brace position to push off of. Hands shoulder width apart, elbows flare to the outside. And with the range of motion and the way that the positioning is, you're not going to dig into your pecs a lot. So right in the triceps where I sit, like so. I think I'm gonna go and do a set of cable pullovers. I'm not gonna record it. It's just something I wanna do before I leave. And that'll be it. It's time to go home, get something to eat. I appreciate what you got in life, guys. Don't take anything for granted. Cherish every day, every moment with those people you love. Don't take anything for granted because everything comes and goes. Life is vanity. Everything passes away with the wind. When you're present in its fullness and then in a fleeting moment, it can be gone. And I'm out.